Welcome to another episode of We Reacts, because that's what we. I'm the host, number three. Appreciate you for rocking with me. Let's get to work. Game two. First round. Best out of three. Phoenix Lynx. Let's get to work. Right now. Minnesota is the best three and D team in this league, and Phoenix needs to play with pace. Get their quick hitters going. Shot clock winding down. Cloud on the drive in the lane and kisses it off the window. And Natasha Cloud had 33 in game one, and she was fantastic off the bounce. She was able to get to her spots on the offensive end as well. Oh, beautiful feed. Collier getting loose for the deuce. Reiner was just three for 10 from the floor in game one. Another nice pass, bucket, and the foul. Cloud pushing the tempo down the lane. Oh, how'd she get that to go? That's a smart play with the Fisla Collier with one foul. Well, you can't catch it any deeper than that. Phoenix has started this game five for five offensively. Tarazzi got the three. She is so good off those drags. Again, one of the most efficient offenses in the WNBA this past season. In game one, they had 34 baskets, 30 of which were assists. There they go. One. Kayla McBride from beyond the arc. They call it a three, 16-8, Phoenix. Nice dive, Smith, the lay-in off the feet from the lead guard. And she doesn't want to go there. She acknowledges, we all know, she has not made a decision. She has not announced anything. I said, DT, what's the difference between 42 and 43? Carlton with the break. Cloud taking her time up top. Over to Mack. Free throw line jumper is good. Williams on the drive in the lane. The runner is good. Look at the elevation by Courtney Williams. Look at the elevation by Courtney Williams. All mid range. Cloud rises and connects. Finds down a late season acquisition. Here's Heideman. Eight on the game clock. Inside Collier. The fadeaway is pure. Natisha Heideman will bring it up for the Lynx. 25 21. Here's Heideman on the drive. Off window for two. Phoenix by two. McBride around the Smith screen. Down the lane. Floats it up and in. Before Griner could even turn around and. Tied up again. Cunningham for three. No good. Nice rebound. Billings with the putback. Look how they accelerate through their action here. Strong drive. McBride again. No. Smith the offensive board. Outside. Carlton for three. Bullseye. That's my girl right there. 36-31. Heidemann, beautiful feed to Smith. The middle third. Four assists off the bench for Heidemann. Another Phoenix turnover. McBride to Smith. Count it! Just an unreal start to this postseason for Nafisa Collier. Oh, Bridget Carlton guarding that flare screen really well. Up ahead to Billings. Tough bucket. Count it. And put her on the line. Rest of the season contract here with the Mercury. Missing the free throw. Griner, the offensive board, and the follow. Two minutes to go in this first half. Great position by Griner. Bucket and the foul. Andrea and Carolyn in studio. And Collier with another bucket. Cloud over to Billings inside kick out extra pass great ball movement cloud for three money 
I saw Natasha Cloud pull her aside at halftime and have a conversation with her, and it looked like she was pumping up her confidence because Cloud understands. The Bride, the long two. Phoenix on the road has to stay within two or three or four possessions. Cunningham outside, copper for three, good. Momentarily silencing this crowd. Cloud on Collier. Collier just <laughs> turns around. Step up. Hard roll. Alana Smith, capable shooter, knocking down the tray. Phoenix switching on every action. Nice feed inside. Collier, two more. She 27. Played. They did play 10 possessions of zone in game one. Heidemann, Williams for three, bottoms! Well, that's how you shoot somebody out of the zone. McBride, Smith, finding Fee inside, two more! Back-to-back, -back, 30 point performances from the Visa Collier. So smart. Cloud in the lane, scores over Williams for Minnesota. Invert Copper to the block. Griner inside off the window, plus the foul. The combination of Williams and Heidemann at the point in the backcourt has been excellent in this series against Phoenix. The Heidemann fronting Cloud. Cunningham, quick trigger for three. Minnesota in this series, 54 assists on 63 made field goals. Carlton for three. Heidemann gets it back to Collier. Heidemann back to Collier for two. Back to back. 30. It's over, bro. It's over. Phoenix going home. 38 point performances. And I think this is Deanna Tarasi last season, I think. It's her last season. She about to go home. Zero and two. Here in the second half. Phoenix getting into it quickly. Griner once again. 21 points for Brittany Griner. Tarasi in the corner. Can't hit. Billings the offensive board. And the reverse. And put some pressure on Minnesota. Cheryl Reeves' club is so comfortable running their stuff. Look at the spacing. Collier, target practice. Make it 41. I know some people who couldn't shoot that kind of percentage playing horse by themselves. <laughs> Griner straight on. Nine three-pointers during the regular season, a career high for Griner. It is going to be fun basketball in the summer. No Celtics. doubt. McBride for three. Icing on the cake. Yeah, that's it. These fans will be ready. Yeah, in front of this raucous crowd at Target Center. Mack, the turnaround. And she has a career high tonight. And that'll do it. The Minnesota Lynx, they get the sweep and advance to the WNBA semifinals. To the next one. I'm gone.